Hello, my name is Henrik von Scheel. I'm best known as the originator of the Fourth Industrial Revolution and the mastermind of the um, Digital Revolution. Both major themes that are, been, are the themes for the most Fortune 500 and organizations today. Now, I have a, a round trip around the world exclusively um, where I'm teaching about moving beyond the hype of the Fourth Industrial Revolution and how to get value out of it and how to put it into practice. Now I will be on the 30th of August, I will be in Brazil, San Paulo, and on the 17th of September, I will be in Melbourne, Australia, and on the 19th September, I will be in Sydney, Australia, and on the 21st September, I will be in Mauritius. I hope to see you there. So, if you're a company, if you're an executive team, if you're a project manager, if you're a director, if you have a failed project, or you need to discover on how you can improve your elements to it. Let me highlight a little bit who's coming, how they, how they apply it, and what you can expect to get out of it. So, the masterclass is quite practical and hands-on. You will get the latest insight on what is the fourth industrial revolution. What is the underlying 11 paradigm shifts? So, the fourth industrial revolution is three major worlds colliding together, the digital world, the virtual world, and the physical world. And since they're colliding together, they're changing every aspect of our life. How we live, how we consume, how we interact, how we compete. And they are surrounded by 17 main trends. These trends have not changed since 2011, since I announced them. But they are emerging in different waves. So the first wave is already gone. Since the first wave is already done, this is where you focus on operational excellence. So we will go through the basic principles, management principles that you don't learn anywhere else. You don't learn in business school and you don't know learn how to apply in real life. So what I suggest to you, come as an executive team to outline your strategies because we'll go through a value chain. A value chain is the only tool where you can define a strategy because you link it to what are the drivers and the forces that are affecting my current operations. You will map your operations in terms of your cost and your revenue model, your service flows, and then you will map on what are the trends coming, and then you will outline a roadmap on how to back to it. I will lead from, from you then to how to do a business model. A business model is the next level of a value chain. This is the highest level of a, of a functional area that you look at. Here you look at an area and a group, and you look at a strategic technical operational level. Here you can map your resources, here you can map your service flows, your information flows, and the big link on smart automation is that you can link actually here all the decisions you can take on your notations. So one of the elements you can do here is that you can link between what is the difference between your service and your process flows. Often misunderstood, the process is what you do, the service is what you deliver. Major difference. Then you will map on what are the cost savings that you can have. So the people that are coming often are groups from supply chain management because they want to focus on supply chain management for that area. They want to focus on digitalization, they want to connect to, 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 to the new ecosystems, or they're very industry specific. For example, they are coming within mining, saying, good, what is the next digital operational excellence that they're looking for? This is then, for example, a model like this will go through. So how do they break down the costs? Because mining is quite complex elements, it has simple aspects to it and has unique aspects to it. So this is a quite important thing to really go through. We see banking, some of the big banks are coming with very specific projects on, for example, um, credit check. How do you do credit check ontology and semantics? How do you do that in terms of the, the client service? Or how do you actually design a new business model for a bank because a bank all looks the same so what are the specific areas that you want to focus on we also see oil and gas companies like Aramco coming that are focusing on upstream and downstream downlining outlining their business model and then they're focused on specific projects like 
safety for that zero. Or we see um, mid-market companies in manufacturing coming to say, good, how can we improve our downtime, downtime, our lead time? How can we decrease our costs? So for example, with rapid process automation, how can we um, um, did, um, digital size our warehouse? So what we'll go through is often best practices on where you need to standardize and integrate, industry practices and legal practices. This is also the link between where you can transform and where you can innovate. You will learn about the six business models and how to apply it. So my objective for you, if you're an executive team that comes, is to align you, to talk a common language, give you the tool sets that you can interconnect, and interconnect, align the challenges on your current operations and how you can design your future operations. If you're a project manager, if you're a director, or if you come with your entire team, you have a specific project, and then come with a project and we'll outline the roadmap on how you can do it. And if you are a smaller company that, that, that is coming in, you're a single man person coming and you have an initiative that you have to do the digitalization for a small company, we will take that on as well. I'm looking forward to see you there. And when you will be there, you will be the centerpiece. Because the fourth industrial revolution is not about technology. It's about people. Companies compete on competencies. They compete on people's ability to adapt to changes. Your ability to understand what's coming and apply the latest management principles is one of the most important investments that your organizations can do to really leapfrog you. I'm looking forward to see you there. Thank you very much.